Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The Las Vegas Hilton takes great pleasure in presenting The Liberace Show, staged and directed by Ray Arnett, and starring that man who is famous throughout the world for his candelabra and his piano, the star of our show, Miss the Showmanship, Liberace. Well, look me over. <laughs> I didn't get dressed like this to go unnoticed. <laughs> it's wonderful to see all of you, and thank you for that lovely welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Before I go any further, I have to find out, how did you like the entrance? Was that OK? Did you like that? Oh, great. Well, good. I have to tell you how I got the idea. I had the wonderful honor just recently of being invited over to London to give a Royal Command performance for the Royal Family. So, you know, I figured such an important occasion, I better give them the works. And then after it was all over, I thought, wouldn't it be nice to have a lasting remembrance of that beautiful occasion to bring back to Las Vegas to share with all of you. So I brought back a souvenir, the Rolls Royce. What do you think? <laughs> Do you like it, huh? You do, wonderful. Oh, great. Well, let me tell you, I'm kind of proud of it myself. You know, most people know I collect pianos and that sort of thing. But lately, I've gone into collecting unusual automobiles. And they tell me this is the only Phantom 5 Rolls-Royce limousine in the world with a left-hand drive. So after I got it over here, I had to find me a left-handed chauffeur, right? I want you to meet my friend over there, that's Scott Thorson. Thank you, Scott. Well, I'm glad you like the car. Boy, it really stops traffic when I shop at Safeways. <laughs> 
especially in this coat. <laughs> I'm kidding about that. Let's say goodbye to Scott, okay? We'll see you later, Scott. Bye-bye. No, this is the coat that was designed just to wear that one night at the Royal Command performance. And you want to know something? I was the only one there with one like it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, I got to tell you, Her Majesty, you know, Queen Elizabeth, she loved it. I was so flattered that she noticed it. Yeah. <laughs> she even felt the material. Would you believe it? Yes, sure. Have a feel, hon. Go ahead. Just have it. You like it? Oh, yes, sure. There's enough there for all of you. Help yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. You want to know what it's made out of? Virgin Fox. Yeah. Did you recognize it? Oh, well, good. Takes one to know one. <laughs> well, let me tell you, it took forever to get the pelts. Think about it. <laughs> well, listen, I'm glad you like it, but do me a favor. Take a fast look at it because I'm taking it off. It's hotter in hell. <laughs> okay? Are you ready for some music? How about that? Okay. Oh, before I play for you, ladies and gentlemen, I have to let you in on something I'm very happy and excited about, and I might even surprise you a little when I tell you I'm celebrating my 35th year in show business. What do you think about that? Isn't that great? Thank you very much. Yeah, I started when I was four. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyway, they've been 35 of the happiest years of my life. And during that time, I've been to many fascinating and exciting places. I've met a lot of beautiful people. In fact, shortly before coming here, I had the great pleasure of giving some concerts in Mexico City. And I brought back a little bit of Mexico to share with all of you. I hope you enjoy my musical salute to our friends south of the border. <laughs> <laughs> 